And I'm back. And today what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the engine oil in a 2006 Mazda 5. I got a new filter here. It's not the screw-on type. This is a cartridge filter that goes up inside of a bowl. And it's a 17 millimeter bolt on the drain pan of the engine. So we're going to get that started. Okay, so here's a couple of the components underneath the engine. Okay, so the engine drain plug, we find that back here on the pan. It's right here. It's a 17 millimeter bolt. And this is the oil filter. You see how there's this bowl and there's a removable threaded in plastic cover here and you you can drain it out here you pull this out and it'll drain the oil out of this filter and then you remove this plug to change the cartridge first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a 17 millimeter wrench on the head of the bolt that holds the drain plug in and we're going to loosen that and let that oil out into the pan okay there goes the oil out in the pan nice and black look at that it's been a while Okay, let that drain out. And when that gets drained down enough, we can put the drain plug back in and we can move over here and we can deal with the filter. Okay, that oil's all drained out of there. Now, and we've got a 17 millimeter wrench here. Tighten that. Nice and snug, like that. Ah, oh, just wipe off, wipe off around the plug. There, the plug's in there. That's good. Okay, I got an Allen wrench up inside of this drain plug on the filter housing. I'm just gonna turn that. Okay, get that out of there. Okay. Now, and we'll just let that drain out for a few minutes and we'll get back and take that, take this plastic housing off and we can get the filter out of there. Okay, most of the oil's dripped out of this. So I'm just gonna use an oil filter wrench to take this cover off. Okay, we'll just put it on there like that and give it a little twist. And you can see that's coming off there. Okay, there's going to be a bit of oil in there behind it and the filter, so just move that down slowly. Okay, and there you can see the cartridge filter. And I'll get that cleaned up and I'll show you what it looks like with the new filter on there. Okay, so here's the housing. Okay, and that's the plug that came out of it. Okay, and here's the old filter and here's the new filter. Now in the box with the new filter, you get uh, an O-ring for the housing and you get a new O-ring for that plug. Okay, so we're gonna change those. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a piece of paper towel and I'm wipe this out. Okay. Get the worst of it out of there, that's fine. And the filter, we're just gonna put it down down there like that. Okay, that's spring-loaded, see under there, that holds it tight against the gaskets inside. Okay, that's there. So I'm just gonna pick out this O-ring and change it, and I'm gonna pick out that O-ring and change it, and we'll get back to you in a second. Put the new one down on there. Okay, that's in place. Put a little smear of oil on it, that seems good. Okay, and the same thing with the plug. Okay, we got the new one. Put a little oil on it. new one on push it down okay so the new o-ring is on here i'm just putting a little yeah it could be new oil but i just put a little dab of the old oil on there lubricate that so when it goes in it's not going to jam up on anything so now that we've drained out the cartridge we can actually put this in you know before we assemble the whole thing so we can put that back in the hole and we'll get our allen wrench in there just snug in there like that that's good all right, wipe that off. Okay, we have a new filter in the housing. Up it goes. And screw it on like that. There, nice and snug. Okay. There. It's all wiped off clean. 
Okay, now we're ready to put oil in the engine. Okay, so we got a Mazda 5, 2.3 liter engine. Engine oil capacity is 4.3 liters, that's including the filter, or it's four and a half US quarts, okay? So what we got here is we got the engine oil, it's the right weight, 5W20, and we got five liters here, so that's, that's too much. But I'm also gonna reduce a bit of this oil, and I'm gonna substitute some of the oil with Lucas, Lucas uh, Heavy Duty Oil Stabilizer. That is a really grubby looking container, but I assure you down inside it's spotlessly clean. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put about half a liter of Lucas and uh, so it'll displace that much oil. So I'm going to put about three and a half liters of uh, oil and about half a liter or a little more of Lucas. And then what I'm going to do is once the engine is started and down off the ramps and when it's sitting on the level, I'll, I'll let it sit for about probably half an hour, turn off the engine and then I'll dip it and then I'll top up as necessary. That's usually what I do. I don't, I don't try and put all of it in. Uh, especially when it's not level because sometimes you can overfill it and you don't want to overfill the engine, okay? So we're just about to do that. We've got, uh, got a funnel. We're going to clean out the funnel. Gonna wipe that all out before we go to put the oil in. So what I usually do is I usually pour a bit of the Lucas in first and then I'll put oil and then we'll go from there. Okay, that looks okay. Okay, I want to make sure your my funnel's all cleaned out here. I'm going to take the oil fill cap off the engine. Set it somewhere, I'm not going to lose it. I'm going to put this down in the engine, like that. And I'm not going to measure it exactly. I'm just going to put about what I call, figure half a liter or so in there. It's quite heavy. Helps make an engine last longer. Protects it a little bit better than uh, just regular oil. I usually add about half a liter to most engines that I change oil in. Half a quart, give or take. Somewhere about, ah, about right there. Okay. And we'll give that a minute to settle in the funnel. Ah, it's looking good. Okay, and we got this Castrol Edge, full synthetic, 5W20. And we'll get that opened. Okay, and we'll put about half of this jug in there. Maybe about there. Okay, that's about half this jug. Maybe a little more, plus the Lucas. I'm gonna let that run down in the funnel. I'm gonna cork it up, and then I'll start the engine, back it down off the ramps, and then like I say, I'll test it. I'll, do a, I'll dip the engine and uh, top up uh, oil as needed once it's on the level. Okay, that looks like it's mostly out of there. What I do is I take a rag, put it under the funnel right away so I don't make a mess on top of the engine. Look at my plug, make sure it's clean. Down in there. Okay, and then we're ready to test fire the engine. Okay, and what I do with my used oil is I collect it. I got a, an old uh, 50 gallon drum here. Keep it set up here, and then when it gets near full, I take it to a recycling center and dispose of it all at once. Don't pour your old oil down the drain, down the street drain, or in the garbage can. We can't afford to do that anymore. It only takes a second to hang on to it and then you can, most places will take used engine oil these days. Okay. Okay, I've had the vehicle sitting off for about a half an hour on level ground. And we're gonna dip it here and see what the oil situation is. Take out the plug, put the funnel here. And we'll put a, about that much probably. Okay, let's see where we are. Okay, it's right there. So it's right at maximum. It's right at the maximum, right there. Okay, that's good. And that's how that's done. Okay, thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. More adventures coming your way soon. Take care. Bye now.